All right. Um, something I had seen uh, a lot of in streamers' videos is this odd behavior um, from their aim in Warzone is that they'll sh they'll aim at an enemy and I'll get either like this micro snap onto the player or this micro snap that comes off of the player. Um, and then I've also seen some streamers that have this uh, like jittery aim and neither look normal. And I'm going to see if we can kind of uh, replicate this observed behavior and under what conditions can we replicate the behavior. Um, these instances seem to come from gameplay that would have to to fall under one of the following categories. Uh, it either have to be caused by a glitch, a bug, improper config or use, uh, or possibly video compression um, because they're streaming and it's coming over uh, a platform and it kind of messes with stuff. So you're you're going from something that's like 200 frames a second to something down to 60 frames a second. Um, so uh, to cover these different uh, categories that th this behavior could fall into, uh, a glitch would be defined as something that's so rare that a programmer can't even replicate it. Uh, they can't even track it down to a root cause. It, it's just chalked up to a random occurrence. That, that's what a glitch is defined as or in that vicinity. A bug is something that um, it's repeatable, it can be replicated, um, and it is an unwanted or out of parameter result that can be fixed uh, through patching. Um, and it can be replicated with a proof of concept to, to trigger the bug uh, to be created, uh, which is what they'll use to, to fix it. Uh, the third one would be like improper utilization, so an improper config, uh, or a third party application that's messing with the parameters and causing it to, to behave improperly. Um, and the last instance uh, in this scenario could possibly be from video compression from streaming sites causing missed frames or added frames. Um, so in order to run this test, uh, we need to cover our bases. Um, and just to make sure was that we've seen streamers or I've seen streamers do this with both keyboard and mouse and on controller. So um, because I use keyboard and mouse so much, uh, well, all the time, um, I'm going to go ahead and run this test starting with uh, a controller. And I'll, I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, so the other thing is, is all these streamers that I see with this behavior, they are using different weapons, different attachments, different weapon skins, different player skins. So let's go ahead and rule that out from the get-go. It's not, oh, this weapon config is causing a glitch in the game, or, you know, this weapon config, you know, it has to deal with meta. No, it's not. It, the people that I have observed with this behavior have a wide gamut of weapons they're using with different attachments. So it doesn't have to deal with any specific weapon attachment skin or whatever player they're using in the game. All right. So in order to test this, since I play on keyboard and mouse and I have never had this jittery aim or these aim snaps, micro aim snaps on keyboard and mouse, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start my test using a controller. So it's going to take me a second to get it set up, plug it in. Hopefully it works. Uh, I'll try and use a website, see if I can run through and make sure that the, the controller works. It's brand new still sitting in a box and it's been sitting here for a little bit. So the first test, I'm going to use the controller. I'm going to use it with aim assist in game on uh, aim assist on max settings. The second test, I'm going to use the controller with aim assist in the game uh, on max settings. And then I'm going to use something that I will never use on any of my, my systems aside outside of this test is using an aimbot. Third test, 
using the controller with custom aimbot settings. Fourth test, I'm going to run it with controller, max aim assist, aimbot with custom settings using a toggle. So go ahead and sorry, brand new, unopen. Uh, it's been sitting under my desk for a little while now. So hopefully I don't botch this video up so that uh, I don't have to re-record this whole thing again. I'm going to use the, can, the cable to hook this up so that I don't, uh, let's see. Trying to make sure I open this on camera here. So I went through and ordered a brand new controller. Still sealed, both ends. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually pretty good at getting around these, but I don't care. I'm probably going to find some use for this afterwards, so... The reason why I'm using a brand new controller is I want to make sure that there's nothing to construe the results. I want to make sure that it's as accurate as possible. Nice little braided cable. And it's just a booklet. No, it's not an unboxing video. supposed to be like it's got some weight to it it's kind of nice well I don't know if you guys can hear that it's raining outside I'm not worried I have battery backups on everything uh, server's got two battery backups on it, two 1500 VAs. It'll probably run for about 45 minutes before it shuts down. Um, okay, so I can kind of see why people play on controller. It's just I've got fairly large mitts. So this is... Uh, I don't know. I, I gotta, I gotta like... I don't know. I guess I'm just not used to controllers. All right. Um, so let's get that hooked up. Uh, at the same time, let's see. I don't think I need that for anything. Let's set this off to the side. Uh, trying to think here. Uh, oh, so what I have going on, and I'll show it here in a minute, is again, I'm going to bring out my favorite little guy. Uh, to test to make sure that it's not video compression, I'm going to have the camera 
recording the screen. The screen's going to be running on 165 hertz this time instead of 144 like last time. And I'm going to record at 240 uh, hertz, frame a second, whatever you want to call it. And that way I can slow it down to 60 frames a second to see what it would look like from the player standpoint and to see if there is anything that would be causing video compression issues. So this way we can either say yes, video compression is causing us to see this behavior or no, video compression has nothing to do with it. Uh, so that is the reason for the camera. Uh, plug this in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, views here. Uh, that will, I'll go ahead and show my settings real quick. So I have a vertical over here and it's got all my typed up notes. Uh, let's see. So I'm running this. 165 hertz and it's pushed out to the Elgato at 60 hertz so one and three are split so one three are split so that way I don't have to worry about CPU utilization from OBS Go ahead and add that in. Man, it's a chonker of a cable. It's kind of thick. What connection is this? Yeah, it just vibrated. So just came out. Let's just, just verify that that's what it was. So why is it still showing? It's not connecting to Bluetooth, is it? No, it's turned off. Okay. How's it working? Yeah, we're just now. I guess it's just Xbox peripherals. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't use controllers. I, I've got a an Xbox 360, brand, like original in a box that I fixed the red ring of death myself, and then I've got uh, with everything that came with it. My wife got me an Xbox One, and then I have a PlayStation 3. I need to pick up a PlayStation 4 for my buddy who's kept all of his original packing. I don't know. Just collect them. All right. So I need to test this controller, make sure everything works on it. Let's do that real quick. Um, nope, not what I want. Yeah, here we go. Do, do. I didn't register this version of Windows, so we'll see if it works.
I know I've seen that a little bit. So up, down, left, right. Oh, that's kind of nice. Right stick, up, down, left, right. I uh, know some pumps going off over there. Huh. Yeah, close enough, all right. So oh, so those are alternates to those, right? Review button, left, all right, I think that's it. I think it's all the buttons. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Nice little feature. On the bottom, there's a couple sliders where you can adjust the push point. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right, so that's good. As you can see here on my desktop, we have Warzone, EO Complaint, EO, engine owning, EO complaint with what's going on over at uh, Activision and foot switch. Uh, I think this is still set to P. Yes, all right, still set to P. Uh, all right. Uh, to make sure that my keyboard, since it, it does have an analog feature, I'm going to disconnect it here in a second. I'm going to set it off to the side. All right. Hey, it's the return of my throwaway count from last video. I wasn't about to mess mine up. That, and I, I really enjoy uh, Modern Warfare playing stuff like uh, when people see and the like. Now see how some of these streamers turn your stuff all the way around. stuff up is uh, insert. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit.
I disconnected my controller because it kind of it can be used as a Welcome to Warzone we Training. Go. In Warzone, every operator is equipped Enemies with an armored area. vest. Grab an armor plate from the table. Slide the armor into your vest. Good work. Man, this kid will chonker. Proceed to the next area. Target. Oh, wow, this is like Proper job, well done. Spot on. Switch to your primary weapon. Well done, mate. This target has armor. Listen for the sound of the armor breaking. You hear that? The armor's gone. Well done, mate. Proper job, well done. One of the best tools you have available is the tack map. On the tack map, you'll find optional missions known as contracts. Complete contracts to earn rewards for your team. Find and accept the contract. Identified. Mark your location. Proceed to the next area. This contract is to open three supply boxes. Accepting the contract has marked supply boxes on the map for you. Next objective located. Take any loot you want. Otherwise, I've got to clean this mess up myself. Notice supply boxes make a distinct sound when you're close. Nice. Your loot finding skills are remarkable. Proceed to the next area. Good. Spot on.
flash out! Cash are normally found inside buildings. Search for some cash, see what you can find. Well done, mate. Cash and loot are found inside buildings. Locate more cash. Nicely done. Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Buy stations are marked on the tack map. Good work. Buy stations allow you to bring teammates back from the dead, purchase kill streaks and more. Purchase a loadout drop marker. Nicely done. Now call in a loadout drop and stand clear of the smoke. Loadout drops allow you to select a full loadout. A loadout drop is the only way to get perks for certain weapon attachments in Warzone Battle Royale. Well done, mate. Try some more equipment or move to the next area when you're ready. Okay, Kruger, hit the deck. When your teammates are down, you. you can revive them if you're close. Shin. You can ping anything in the world for your team. Good. Rush out. Ping an armor plate for your team. Spot on. Show your teammate where the armor is. Body armor here. Thank you. Solid work. Moving. Pick a spot and mark Moving. its location. Copy. Well done, mate. You can also Moving. ping hostile Copy areas that. for your team. Ping the targets as hostile. Moving. Copy that. Enemies in the area! Copy that. Enemies in the area! Enemies in the That's area! That's the way. There's another way you Enemies can help Enemies in the area! Fight. Enemies in yep. the area! You could drop items in your inventory for your team. Grenade out! Well done, mate. Good. Try dropping something for your teammate. This is called teamwork. Be careful with teamwork. You might win. Nicely done. Sprint to extraction. Next job's Enemies waiting. Enemies in the area! Copy. Done and done. <clears throat> Alright, so... Still... Kind of getting used to it. Not really my thing. Welcome to Warzone. Use your attack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. The 
white circle on your tank map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find weapons, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. All right, lads, let's get it done. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. This is the Gulag. Survive and you can redeploy. The first time you're eliminated, you go to the Gulag. Kill your opponent and you'll redeploy to the war zone. You win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done here. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this fucker out. Go back to the front line. Burn it. new weapons and ammo. Get to work. Well done. The upper right part of your HUD shows how many enemies remain. You need a weapon, soldier. Find one. Reloading. 25 remain. Fought hard out there. Return to base for debrief. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that I suck at this. The controller works. Uh, I'm getting used to it. So let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead with the second part. <coughs> so the second test, first test was controller with the aim assist and ma uh, max settings. Second test, we're gonna do controller with aim assist in game uh, settings max with uh, default. So this is what it looks like when you get engine owning. It's a string of miscellaneous characters and what it is is it's it's an application that creates a webhook so this is all you see when you first go through it gets set up it initiates the webhook then you start warzone And right now it's it's going out to my Elgato into this at the same time. Uh, some people, and I tested it, uh, will use stuff like uh, XSplit. And what I tested with that was this monitor here. I had it come over to this, and it it wasn't it wasn't grabbing the actual uh, engine only application. It was, oh, did it just crash? Wow, the game crashed. Let's try it again, see what happens. Didn't do this to me before. But then again, I, so here's, 
I said I wouldn't install the stuff on my actual machine. about to put this cheat software on the machine, but I'm going to be using it. I want to make sure that when I play people, I beat them, and they're like, oh, you hit cheat software on the computer. No, no I didn't. Alright, so I did it. This is about to botch my whole uh last one check and I feel let's go to the dependency. Okay. Do it again. There it is. All right. So this is what it looks like. All right. So we're gonna turn aimbot on. Let's uh go defaults. And why the, the flashing is I have theoretically three monitors that doesn't support four so I have to put the vaults to one display. Alright, let's uh, let's go back to practice again. possibly move this so that it overlays perfectly on top of my actuator. to war zone.
Use your tactic map to see when to deploy from the aircraft. Disregard last. That's our drop zone. Get ready. The circle on the tactic map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find weapons, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. Targets are up. Get to work. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. That's why it's... Reloading! This shit's full on control, man. Oh, awesome. Keep searching the building until you find a better weapon. You need a weapon, soldier. Find one. Alright, I'm gonna have to adjust the settings. It is. Good work. Red dots on the minimap show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. Enemy dropping into the AO. Do you see that? Reloading. Well done. Ah, the upper man. right part of your hut shows how many enemies remain. Gas is moving. This is way too strong. All right. Extraction for the last survivor. Eliminate your targets, stay out of the gas, and get to extraction. Good luck. It's not, it's not just taking over on it. Oh, that's what those are. Oh, alright. So that's, I gotta turn it off. Only four enemies 
remain. You know what to do. Reloading! The deployment is building up there. Get this done. Sharpish. Three remain. Stay sharp. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. It's friggin'. Enemy soldier incoming. Seriously, this is like... It, it aggravates me knowing that this, this application exists. I'll leave that open here. Hey, because I want to play the game in my spare time. I'm going to have free time when I'm recording these videos. So instead of me playing the game that I want to play, I have to bring awareness to this other people. I don't have to, but... It just annoys the piss out of me that people are these stay at home war zone pros. And and everybody's eating it up. But as you can see how long have I been recording? An hour and thirty eight minutes at this point. Thirty minutes ago I sucked on the controller. I just got out of the box. If I switched over to, to keyboard and mouse, it'd be a world of a difference. I would Battle Royale. Welcome to Warzone. Use your tack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. The white circle on your tack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find weapons, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, That's soldier. our drop zone! Get ready! Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. Targets are up. Get to work. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. Good work. Red dots on the minimap show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. Reloading! Well done. The upper right part of your HUD shows how many enemies remain. Reloading! Watch the skies. Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Target down.
Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. So it's a little Reloading! So bad. Reloading! Enemy soldier incoming. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe. Spray and then finally lock onto him. Nothing about that. Reloading! Cash can be used at five times. Let's sit here. Like, none of that is skill. None of that is. If I've played like this every day. Everything. I can guarantee you. Keep it up. A helicopter will provide extraction for the last survivor. Eliminate your target, stay out of the gas, and get to extraction. Good luck. Reloading! 15 kills, man. I'm going for record.
just a little bit more. Welcome to Warzone. That's our drop zone! Get ready! Use your attack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. That's our drop zone! The white Get ready. circle on your attack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find the weapon, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. That's our drop zone! Jump Get out ready! Of the aircraft, soldier. Gas is moving in. You safe zone located. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. So you'll get on the ground late. Clear to engage all targets. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hub of nearby supply boxes. Safe zone. Taking fire. Reload. 
Reloading. Keep it up. Target down. Reloading. A helicopter will provide extraction for the last survivor. Eliminate your target. Stay out of the gas. Extraction. Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Enemy dropping into the AO. Taking fire! Only four enemies remain. You know what to do. Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Only three left. Gas is closing in, relocating the safe zone. Reloading! Only one enemy remains. Reloading. That's how you get it done. Close one, mate. You made it. Well done. Approach the deep mail. Stand by.
see if I can do this wireless and so I this wire. Welcome to War Zone. Use your tack map and choose when to deploy zone. from the Get aircraft. Ready. The white circle on your tack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find the weapon, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. You'll get on the ground late. Reloading! Are up. Get to work. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. Good work. Show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. shows how many enemies remain. <laughs> Enemy soldier incoming. stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Reloading! 
them remaining. Keep it up. A helicopter will provide extraction for the last survivor. Eliminate your target, stay out of the gas, and get to extraction. Good luck. Reloading! Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Fighting's over. Now it's a ghost town. <laughs> Only three left. Reloading! Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. Taking fire! Reloading! Only two left. Battle Royale. Welcome to Warzone. Use your tack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. The white circle on your tack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find weapons, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. 
Alright, lads, let's get it done. Search inside the building for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hull of nearby supply boxes. Good work. Red dots on the minimap show the location of the Reloading! Now hunt them down. Well done. The upper right part of your HUD shows how many enemies remain. Buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. There's less than ten to go. You can win this. A helicopter will provide extraction for the last survivor. Eliminate the target. Stay out of the Dog gas and get to extraction. Good luck. Setting decoy. Well 
Only one enemy remains. You're a hard man. Solid work. Extraction's inbound. Stand by. I don't even know if I need the toggle to try and get it to do the snap because we're seeing that even with good settings. Um, let's go ahead and set a toggle though. Basically, you can see down here. From a big ass foot. to war zone. Use your tack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. The white circle on your tack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find weapons, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. Your primary objective is to kill them all. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. Enemy dropping into the AO. Good work. Red dots on the minimap show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. Target down! Well done. Reloading. The upper right part of your HUD shows how many enemies remain. Alright, just to show that. Yeah. 
Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Why would somebody use the targets before you ask? I assume it's snapping onto every person that wants to target. Oh hey, I heard someone. Cash can be used at five points. Like your streaks and other special items. Extraction for the last survivor. Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Eliminate your targets, stay out of the gas, and get to extraction. Good luck. Reloading! Remaining. Good work. Reloading! Fighting's done. The area's cleared out. Reloading! Gas is closing in. Grab some armor plates. Reloading! Safe zone located. Target down. You're the Reloading. last two. Bring home the win. Reloading. Reloading. Took the win. Well done. A little worse for wear, but you got the job done. Watch your deep now. Stand by. Using a controller and they're able to hold a shot center mass or or head. They're cheap. Alright. I'm gonna stop using this and I'm gonna go to uh, using this keyboard mouse. The reason being is uh, I've already tested with this, and I was able to replicate some of the jitter. servers like having a field day out there
to change some settings. to war zone. Use your tack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. That's our drop zone! The white Get circle ready. on your tack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find weapons, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. Your primary objective is to kill them all. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. Hostile dropping into the area. What? Good work. Red box on the mini to show the location of nearby enemies. Oh, now hunt them down. stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Many enemies remain. Reloading! Reloading! Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Gas is inbound. will provide extraction for the last survivor. Eliminate your target, stay out of the gas, and get to extraction. Good luck.
play a legit game. I've got good aim, but no. I ain't got that good aim. So I noticed when I first started messing with this that I would get jitter if certain settings were too high and I was fighting with it. Zone. Use your tack map and choose when to deploy from the aircraft. The white circle on your tack map shows where the gas closes in. The timer shows how long you have before that happens. Plan ahead, find the weapon, stay out of the open, and you'll make it. Jump out of the aircraft, soldier. I suggest pulling your chute before you hit the ground. Using your chute lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. Eliminate all targets in the AO. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Let's open the hub and nearby supply boxes. Good work. Reloading. Red dots on the minimap show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. Ask 
can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Reloading. Target down. Again. Kill streaks and other special items. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. Cash can be used at buy station. Another down. Reloading. Eliminate your target. Stay out of the gas and get to the train. Reloading. Finish the job. Gulag locked down. Area's clear. Only three remain. Finish the job.
All right. So I, I think that's going to wrap it up. Um, yeah. So if you see people that have this like a jitter and they're, they're aiming or these, these snaps, that is clear sign it, and it doesn't happen all the time it, if you if you fine-tune the settings it shouldn't happen but there's still that uh, one in a thousand one in a ten thousand chance that it's it's gonna snap and that's it that's the giveaway that they're using something so I'm gonna go through and I'm going to watch this footage I'm going to take it, shorten it up, and put it in sections of the video, but I I'm, I feel it's pretty safe to say at this point that if you see people playing Warzone, um, I, I don't care how big a streamer they are, that if they are getting these, if they lock onto somebody and they follow them perfectly, like smoothly, that's an aim lock. If they go through and they get ready to aim at somebody and it hard snaps to them just that last second, that's an aim lock. If they're on somebody unloading on them and then all of a sudden, as soon as they finish that last shot, they break off just a little bit, that's a break from an aim lock. If they go through and they're just railing laser beams with no recoil. No, it's your 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 shots are gonna be messy. I I I use on my other account on my PC my desktop that I don't have right now. Uh, in Modern Warfare, I play with the submachine guns a lot. You can get high capacity magazines with them. The recoil is easily manageable and you get a high rate of fire and if you control it well enough you can get a lot of kills if you look up my information on um, on what is it uh, SBMM or one of those sites for Hoppin Dude you'll find my stats and I use SMGs a lot it's because they're easy to maintain easy to manage um, I can drop a 30 round mag across a uh, small uh, 5v5 map or whatever uh, like shoot house and I'll, I'll land from from 30 shots I'll land probably 10 or 15 of them and it's possibly enough to take a person out so I mean it's there's a reason why I use SMGs but yeah it's after messing around with this engine owning software I mean it is it's easy easy to tell like what to look for um, to to know if somebody's cheating, as soon as soon as you mess with it, as soon as you see the inherent behavior yourself, then it's it's kind of a dead giveaway. Um, the other thing I noticed, uh, let me see if I can log on. Oh, I need my full keyboard back. Need that anymore? Uh, I love this keyboard. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off too. It's already down to like thirty-one percent battery. All right. Um, look at that. It from playing on controller, keyboard, and mouse. Alright.
few more notes. Legit aimbot settings. Smooth aim 97, or yeah, smooth aim 97, smooth Excel 3, filter view 2.5 to 3. Notice that when I was messing around with it, these are similar settings. Um, here. No, not what I want. pre-sales questions. All right, so let's log in. All right, we're signed in here. And I mean, I think this is the one we were looking at and saw pre-sales, pre-sales, yeah. Here we go. All right. Legit 60 hours play time. It just I remember seeing stream mentioned once, but these are same thing, ten, you know basically people trying to find ways to to make sure they don't get banned to make sure nobody calls them out
personally, just because I have a good recoil, I'm good at the game. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Now I'm talking with you guys because you really, I, I, I play and I look at the chat and I be like, what's oh, going shit. on? You know what I'm saying? What's going on, guys? 14. Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like, seriously. Huh? Hi. Oh my god, man. Busted. I just All right. Um, the same stuff over and over at this point. All right, I'm gonna call it a night at this point, and I'm gonna review the footage, and then uh, and then I'll add a uh, a cap to the end of it. So, all right. Uh, so, deuces for now, but no conclusion yet.